Morning Davao Mindanao, North, South, East, and West. This is Elijah Hilcacho, your newscaster for today. But before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. For the headlines, weather forecast. At 3 p.m., severe tropical storm entering YAGI was 165 kilometers west northwest of Lawag City, Ilocos Norte, with 95 kilometers per hour winds and 115 kilometers per hour gust. Moving west northern west at 10 kilometers per hour, it is influencing the southwest monsoon over central and southern Luzon. Local news. DepEd partners with IMDCODE to empower Filipino women with coding skills. Philippine Advocates for Digital Education Reforms. Second tranche of wave, wage hike takes effect. Public cautions against selfish contamination. National News. Philippine understanding that at 15.69 pesos trillion as of July 2024. LTO <sighs> Mayor Rama acting Mayor Garcia tangled over Sinulo, which is run by the private foundation, not City Hall, in, in 2019. The Vice Mayor Mike clash with them within Mayor Labilla on creation of governing board that watches over SFI. International News Exclusive John McCain's son Chris Trump appearance at Allington as the violation that turned cemetery into campaign backdrop. Dozens killed in Russia's strike on military educational facility in central Ukraine. Entertainment news. From mission, impossible is to slow horses. Here's why we love watching spies. Judge issues plim, 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 oh. preliminary injunction on Trump campaign use of song Hold on, I'm coming. Sports news. Oksana Masters, sports really taught me it was like okay to take my legs off in front of the people and still be powerful. Who are the armless arches going viral at the Paralympic Games? Featured stories. Jose Rizal, the Philippines' greatest hero. George Washington, the founding father of America. Trivia. Did you know Dr. Jose D. Rodriguez is a key figure in the Philippines' nuclear future? Weather forecast. In Ilocos Norte and Ilocos and Ilocos Sur, Severe tropical storm Enteng brings rain with gusty winds, raising concerns of flash floods and landslides. The Cordillera Administrative Region and Cagayan Valley will see cloudy skies with scattered rains, potentially leading to hazardous condition. Meanwhile, Zambales Bataan, Occidental Mindoro, and the rest of Ilocos Region brace for monsoon rains with flooding and landslides a real possibility. Metro Manila, Calabarzon, Central Luzon, and Memaropa 
are under the influence of the southwest monsoon, bringing occasional rains. Elsewhere across the country, expect isolated thunderstorms with flush floods and landslides a continued risk. Local news. DepEd partners with I am the COD or I am the code to empower Filipino women with coding skills. In a significant move, the Department of Education, so what we call DepEd, partner with I am the code to offer free coding and digital skills courses to Filipino young women and girls, strengthening its STEAM initiative formalized through an MOU signed by Educational Secretary Sony Angara. The partnership includes providing a 12-week curriculum and over 6,000 free courses. I am Code's founder, Lady Miriam Jamie, emphasized the global impact of the African-led movement. The program focused on enhancing STEM or STEM and AI skills will be piloted in selected schools. Secretary Angara highlighted the initiative's potential to transform lives and thank I Am The Code for their dedication. Philippine Advocates for Digital Education Reforms At the 13th ASEAN Educational Ministers Meeting, Philippine Educational Secretary Sony Angara urge ASEAN nations to prioritize digital transformation in education to equip the region's youth for the future challenges. Highlighting the importance of proactive reforms, Angara emphasizes that while the future is digital, education remains a human endeavor requiring strong intuitions and evidence-based policies. The Philippines, under Angara's leadership in C. Mayo or S E M S E A M E O has launched initiatives like DepEd DGEd 2028 to advance digital education. Angara stress the power of collaboration in achieving educational excellence and shared commitment across ASEAN, marking key milestones in regional education progress. Second tranche of wage hike takes effect. In Davao City, the second tranche of wage adjustments will take effect on September 1, 2024. This increase, part of wage order number RB11-22, uh, will boost the minimum wage for non-agricultural workers to 481 pesos and agricultural workers to 476 pesos. Earlier this year, the Regional Board 11 implemented the 38 peso increase in minimum wages, split into two tranches. The first tranche raised wage to 462 pesos for non-agricultural workers and 457 pesos for agricultural workers starting March 6, 2024. This upcoming adjustments continue to commitment to improve workers' compensation in regional Region 11 Public caution against selfish contamination The City Veterinarian's Office of Davao City has issued a warning against consuming green mussels, also known as a tahong, following positive tests for paralytic selfish shellfish poisoning or PSP. It samples from Villarreal Salmon. PSP is a serious and potentially life-threatening condition. The COV, in coordination with the Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources, or BFAR, urges the public to avoid shellfish from effective areas. BFAR's recent selfish shellfish bulletin indicates ongoing toxic red tide in various regions. Symptoms of PSP include facial numbness, vomiting, and paral par paralysis. Immediate medical attention is advised if contaminated self shellfish is consumed. <music> now, 
national news. Philippines outstanding debt at 15.69 trillion as of July 2024. As of July 31st, 2024, the national government's total debt is reached 15.69 trillion pesos, according to the Bureau of the Treasury. This represents a 206.49 billion increase, or 1.3%. 1.3 percent from june 2024 the raise the rise is due to the net increase of domestic and external debt totaling 10.75 trillion pesos and 4.94 trillion pesos respectively domestic debt increased by 180 pesos 180.03 billion pesos due to the new government securities while foreign borrowings rose by 26.45 billion pesos driven by the public loans and currency revelation revaluation effects national government guarantees also grew by 1.14 billion to 344.79 billion pesos <laughs> Mayor Rama Acting Mayor Garcia Triangle over Sinulog, which is run by a private foundation, not City Hall in 2019. Then Vice Mayor Mike clashed with then Mayor Labilia on creation of the governing board that watches over SFI. Cebu City Sinulog 2025 preparation are causing a steer. Acting Mayor Raymond Alvin Garcia announced plans to start organizing the event without waiting for the return of suspended Mayor Michael Rama. Rama, who claims the Sinulog Foundation Incorporated or SFI should lead to celebration, criticized Garcia's move, asserting that SFI is a private entity outside the city control. The legal question at the hand of whether SFI, despite its private status, falls under city jurisdiction due to financial contribution and involvement. The debate highlights ongoing tension over Senulog management and the role of the city officials. <music> International News Exclusive Jimmy McCain, son of the late John McCain, has publicly criticized former President Donald Trump for holding a campaign event in Arlington National Cemetery, calling it a violation of the site's sanctity. Sanctity. McCain, who recently switched his party affiliation to Democrat and plans to support Kamala Harris in the upcoming election, expresses disapproval stating that such locations should not be used as a political backdrop. His stance marks to notable departure from his family's conservation roots, aligning him with the Democrats' party amid broader shift within his family. <music> Dozens killed in Russian strikes on military educational facility in central Ukraine. A Russian missile strike on a military educational facility in Poltava. Central Ukraine resulted in 49 deaths and over 219 injuries, marking one of the deadliest attacks since the invasion began on February 2022. President Volodymyr Zelensky reported that the two ballistic missiles hit the facility and nearby hospital. He emphasized the urgent need for air defense system and long-range missiles from Ukraine's Western allies. The attack also damaged at least 10 residential buildings, while Moscow has not yet com commented. Russian military bloggers of Vladimir Rogov confirmed that the strike on a military school Zelensky urged immediate support to prevent further casualties.
entertainment news. From Mission Impossible to Slow Horses, here's why we love watching spies. The spy genre captivates audience with its blend of non-stop action, mystery, and intrigue. From the iconic Austin Martin chases and exotic locals, localese to seductive love, intense, and British accents, spy flicks have become a staple on both big and small scenes. Franchises like James Bond, Kingsman, and The 355, along with the TV hits such as Han Homeland and The Americans, demonstrate our fascination with spoinage. Despite the decline of genre movies and fleeting TV shows, spy narratives continue to engage views and studios alike, reflecting deeper insights into our world and ourselves. Judge issues preliminary injunction to Trump campaign uses the song, Hold On, I'm Coming. The federal judge has ordered former President Donald Trump and his campaign to stop using a song, Hold On, I'm Coming. Without proper licensing, the ruling issued by the judge Thomas Trash Jr. in Atlanta follows the request from the state of Isaac Hayes, who aligns, who alleged to campaign use the song without authorization. The judge did not man mandate the removal of previously recorded uses. Trump's attorney Ronald Coleman expressed the campaign's willingness to comply but noted their relief at avoiding removal of past content. Hayes states six compens compensatory damages for the author unauthorized use and aims to set pre precedent of other artists. Sports news. Sports really taught me it was like okay to take my legs off in front of the people and to still be powerful. Oksana Masters with 17 Paralympic medals across summer and winter games remains driven to compete and defend her two para cycling gold medals from Tokyo. Born in Ukraine with birth defect Linked to the Chernobyl disaster, Masters endures significant challenges, including multiple amputation and years in orphanage before her adoption by an American mother. Sports, she says, was pivotal in her journey of self-acceptance and empowerment. After transitioning from a rowing to skiing and cycling, cycling, skiing and cycling, Masters focuses on achieving the perfect race rather than solely on podium results, viewing her scars as symbols of strength and resilience. Who are the armless arches going viral at the Paralympic Games? Matt Stoogeman, an armless archer, has revolutionized para-archery by winning a gold medal with a Paralympic record score of 149. Despite being born with, without arms, his achievement marked by the celebratory hug with his teammates caps off 12 years of dedication. Stoodsman influence extends to their armless arches, including Sital Devi, who won bronze in a mixed team compound open and become the first female arch without arms to medal at the Paralympics. Devi, inspired by Stoodsman, has also excelled, winning World and Asia Para Games medals, 
Stutzman's facing hip issues from years of shooting will retire after this game, leaving a legacy that has significantly advanced the sport. Featured Stories Jose Rizal, the Philippines' greatest hero Jose Rizal, the key figure in the Philippine Revolution, is celebrated as the na nation's greatest hero. Born in June 19, 1861, Rizal was brilliant polymath, excelling in fields such as liter literature, medicine, and history. His profound writing, including No Limitang Here and El Filibusterismo, inspired the Filipino quest for independence from Spanish co colonial rule. Rizal's commitment to peaceful reform and intellectual resistance against oppression made him a symbol of patriotism and resilience. Executed by Spanish on December 30, 1896, Rizal's legacy endures as a beacon of national pride and heroism in the Philippines. George Washington, the Founding Father of America George Washington, the first President of the United States, stands as a quintessential American hero born on February 22, 1732. Washington led the Continental Army to victory during the American Revolutionary War, securing independence from British rule. His leadership, integrity, and commitment to the democratic principles earned him the role of the nation's first president from 1789 to 1797. Washington's decisions to step down after the two terms set precedent for presidential conduct and solidified his legacy as a champion of democracy and national unity. Reverbed as the father of his country, Washington's contribution remains foundational at America history and values. <music> Trivia Did you know Dr. Jose D. Rodriguez is a key figure in the Philippines' nuclear future. Dr. Jose D. Rodriguez is a prominent figure in the field of nuclear science and engineering in the Philippines. As the former executive director of the Philippine Nuclear Research Institute or PNRI, he played the pivotal role advancing the country's nuclear research and development. Dr. Rodriguez worked forces on promoting the safe use of nuclear technology for various applications, including energy productions and medical uses. His expertise has been crucial in shaping the Philippines' approach in nuclear energy, aiming to ensure that it is used safely and responsible, responsibly to benefit the nation's growth and development. That is all for our news today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Once again, my name is Elijah Hilcacho. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. Good morning, Davao.